So in my last video, I was switching between different sounds using the TriWaves pad. If you haven't seen that one yet, watch it first because this video will make more sense once you've seen that one. Link is in the description. What I'd like to show you today is what configuration needs to happen in Ableton to switch sounds and control effects using the TriWave. So really, I'm going to show you two things. One is how to configure the pad to switch an arpeggiator on when I touch the bottom half of the pad. And two is how to assign different sounds to different parts of the pad. So I've got a TriWave connected to a PC that's running Ableton, and I've loaded up two instances of a synthesizer called Vital, and I've posted the link in the description. Now, all the magic happens in the MIDI configuration, which I'll bring up now by clicking MIDI. I'll zoom in so you can see it clearly. Each of these rows is linking a control on the pad to a control in Ableton. So the first row shows CC17. CC17 is the vertical axis of the TriWaves touchpad. It's a control, and every time I touch the pad, it sends a number to this control. And so if I touch right at the top of the pad, it'll output a zero. And as I move my finger down the pad, the number will increase until I reach the bottom and the control value will be 127. And so what this first row means is, if the control value is between 80 and 127, which that's basically the bottom half of the screen, the arpeggiator will be on. Otherwise, it'll be off. So now I'm touching on the pad and you can see the actual control being switched on and off depending on where I touch. The way I set this up in Ableton is really easy. I'll delete the control assignment and show you how to recreate it. So I just click MIDI, then the control I want to link, which in this case is the on and off switch of the arpeggiator. And then I tap the right side of the pad until I see the number CC17 appear. And that's it. The other thing I want to explain is the bottom two rows. So these rows are how I was able to switch between bass sounds in my previous video. I've got two control assignments, both on CC16. Now, CC16 is the TriWave's horizontal axis. And what these assignments show is, if the control is between 0 and 63, then base 1 will be on. And if the value is between 64 and 127, base 2 will be on. The exact controls that the pad is assigned to can be seen here. And so you can see how when I tap the pad, one channel switches on and the other switches off, depending on whether I'm tapping on the left or the right side of the screen. And so that is how you can control basically anything from the TriWaves pad in Ableton. Thanks for watching.